Hi there! In this video I will show you how to create a beautiful creamy backlight for your outdoor photographs. Let's begin and we will try to achieve something like that with an edited image. We start by creating background copy. You can just drag it simply over here or press Command or Control J. Once you duplicated the layer, go to Filter, Blur and choose Average. Now you have to change the blending mode from Normal to Screen. Create a layer mask and fill it with color black to hide the effect by pressing Command or Control Delete. Use now the white color brush large brush to reveal the effect from the area where you want the light fall on your subject. Something like that. If you remember how layer mask work, black conceals and white reveal. Now you can deactivate the upper layer. Go to background layer, pick magnetic lasso tool. I prefer to work with magnetic lasso tool and try to select your subject as precise as possible. At this point, we need to blur the selection so the borders go softer. Press Q, that way you can see clearly how much blur to apply. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. We need the borders not to be so sharp. So choose the blur, needed amount and press OK. Again, press the Q key. Now go up and activate the upper layer again. Move to layer mask and hit command or control plus delete. The effect cleared from your subject and now you can play with the layer's opacity to achieve a desired amount of that creamy light. Press command D which stands for done Command or Control D, so you deactivate the selection before and after. I also apply some grains to the layer to make it look more realistic. So let's go to Filter, choose Noise, Add Noise and apply a certain amount of noise uh, so that looks really uh, nice and realistic. At this point, I would like to add some contrast and make colors a little bit more pop. And for that, I'm going to use Adjustment Layer Curves. Choose that handle, kind of hand. And now you have to target the area which you want to go brighter and the tones which you want to go darker. Like, for example, this... Uh, on her face, these tones I would like to go brighter, her face I would like to go brighter, and these tones of the shadow I would like to go darker, not so much, maybe this much, yes, something like that, 
you can see how bright and uh, beautiful light you get by this manipulation but if you feel the colors are too strong you can always change the blending mode from normal to for example luminosity but in that case you see you are losing uh, a lot of saturation you have to get it back with maybe saturation adjustment layer so instead of that I would choose soft light yeah I know it's very bright but I kind of like it and also I will reduce opacity a bit so now I'm going to group these two layers by selecting both of them pressing command ctrl and G for group and we can see that we all the work we've done from the beginning to the end you see human's eye um, actually designed that way that the brightest part of the area attracts the attention so no matter how you show the image but you have to bring the maximum amount of light highlights to the subject which is a portrait so it makes sense and the eye of the viewer goes directly to the subject before and after hope you enjoyed this video and find it useful for your artwork Feel free to post your feedback, questions, suggestions down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.